be advised. The opinions and views of the hosts and guests do not reflect those of the station. My name is Harry Tumbuatko and welcome to our program. Okay, what do we talk about tonight? Let's see. What about topics of what we call rule of law? Do you really understand that meaning? I'm not referring necessarily to the impeachment trial. But what exactly does rule of law mean? Does government know the meaning? There's implementation, there is rule of law, there's the constitution. They're basically one and the same thing with implementation being the reaction or supposedly uh, the cause of action after a specific law. Do we actually know and understand, do the people, the massa, do they understand rule of law and how it works? Do we know how, money is, how much money is disbursed? Do we know where money is being disbursed to? Do we even understand the meaning of budgets? Do we even understand the meaning of 1.7 trillion pesos? Do you have an idea of the size of this kind of money? And do we have an idea of how those who are in the know know how to mani manipulate funds. Of course, you have the big businessmen. You have the authoritative, or what you call the strong oligarchs, who over decades have learned how the tricks work. But as a people, tayo po, aren't we just concerned about programming and uh, basically watching TV and what the TV tells us? I isn't that what it's all about? And aren't we not just limited to what we read on print and what we hear on radio, all the chismes and whatnot? Are we actually through the media being kept stupid, to be remain stupid and to stay stupid, while the others who know what's going on learn how to make the big bucks? Well, the answer of that is yes. Now, in this program, what we'll try to do is we'll try to generate some type or create some type of what we call critical thought. To try and talk about the other measures or the other ideas, the other topics that you and I should be concerned with. Tonight will be about intelligence. Tonight, we'll, be, we'll talk about security. the other security. We'll talk about all the innovative ideas of how rule of law should be implemented and how it should work around that specific issue. Of course, we have our co-host. We have Dr. John Chope, who will introduce the topic together with tonight's guest. John? Uh, thank you, Harry. You know, ladies and gentlemen, the, the issue of security at present is that tila yata hindi pinag-uusapan ng tao yung konsepto ng seguridad alang lalo sa kalang mga specificong mga bahay, kumpanya, at uh, sa pamahalaan. We always look at security in a way that security guard only. And on the concept of intelligence, we, 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 what we mean is that we gather information and such information would be used for a certain provision or policy that beneficial to our country and also to a specific uh, agency, a specific uh, office. But looking at that point is that Ang problema po minsan yata, mga kaibigan, sa usapin ng seguridad, eh, ang mga kababayan natin na hindi yata nag invest sa security. And one thing is that security, investing in security is one thing that we need to look at because kailangan po natin protektahan ng ating negosyo, protektahan ng ating uh, bahay, protektahan ng ilan sa mga entitya ng ating bayan. Our guest for this day was a former uh, Philippine National Police Officer. Naging estudyante ko po siya sa Philippine Public Safety College, sa Officer Senior Executive Course. And what is the OSEC? That is the course for a superintendent that will become a senior superintendent and to be general. And after that, magkakaroon sila ng title ng DSC, Directorial Staff Course. And he was also, he accompanied me also sa, sa FBI sa Hawaii, the Federal Bureau of Investigation, wherein uh, magkakasama kami doon, magkaklase, pero yun study uh, law enforcement. And on the aspects of intelligence and security, Eh, dati, nasa SAGSD siya, at ngayon, eh, siya ko niya natin yung SAGSD. And uh, at that point, the, the PADPAW and everything that we discuss about security, meron po siyang 
expertise dito. So, uh, kung papakilala po natin siya, mga kaibigan, siya po ay talagang uh, eksperto sa ganitong uh, uh, subject matter. At within that point, as we see it, he will discuss so many dis dimensions about private security. Ang problema po kasi minsan, pag pinag-usapan natin ng security at intelligence, palaging pumapasok sa atin ang usapin ng uh, mga James Pan movie, yung bago ngayon, si Chuck. Na, pero di po uh, lingit sa ating kaalaman, meron din po pala mga pribadong uh, intelligence na mapalaot sa ating bayan, mga private intelligence, private eye, private detective, and even the private security. And even the espionage aspects na tinatawag na minsan masyadong technical lang pag-uusapan, pero which is sometimes may necessity pala para sa ikaunlad ng isang entity. Ha? So ang ating pong guest ay walang iba kundi si Police Senior Superintendent Rodrigo Dulay uh, Bonifacio. Retired Colonel Bonifacio. <laughs> uh, good evening po sa lahat ng uh, mga nanonood. At uh, hmm. nagpapasalamat din ako kay Dr. Chope, hmm. uh, my professor. <laughs> uh, and of course to Harry. Thank you so much. Paano naging estudyante ka ni Jan, ni Dr. Jan? Eh, si Dr. Jan, on, on 26 years old lang to eh. <laughs> Nagumpisa ako <laughs> magturo ng mga kerdo. Huwag ka naman maniwala. Huwag na... po kayo maniwala. <laughs> Hindi 26 yan. Baby face lang po yan. Actually, uh, Harry, nung uh, first time I uh, met uh, Dr. Uh, Jan Kiope, ayaw namin maniwala kasi yung miyembro ng klase na yun, puro mga senior uh, uh, or uh, mga field grade officers ng Philippine National Police yan. And most of them now are occupying positions. Generals. Uh, mga generals na sila ngayon. Kaya ang tingin namin sa kanya noon, para bang totoo ba ito? Uh, Tuturo ba ng matino sa amin ito? Ganun. Pero nung uh, lumaon, nakita namin yung kalibre ni Dr. Chope. Uh, okay. Hindi siya pangkaraniwan tao para sa amin. May karapatan. Meron siyang uh, K na masasabi. I remember their class. Uh, they are composed of 76. So 76 sa klase. You have five lawyers. Sudyante ko. Ilan ng baron sa PMA? Yes. Ang dami. That is the cream of the crop. Yeah. Di mabuhay class. Yes. <laughs> ng ng At saka <laughs> ang link ng uh, klase namin with the uh, uh, US uh, authority sa US Embassy is so, so close. In fact, uh, even the FBI legal attache at that time, uh, the former Steve, uh, FBI legal attache Steve Cutler, uh, pagka, ano, pagka nag-desire ang class na mamit, nakakausap nila. And when uh, we were in Hawaii during that time sa FBI, we were awarded the, you know, the, there was a Philippine National yes. Police Day mm. and week. And in the individual uh, officers plus me were awarded the honorary citizenship. Yes. Oh, okay, ah. Yeah. <laughs> eh, kaya mga honorary citizen kami mga ng Hawaii. Honorary citizen <laughs> lahat ng mga So, hindi mo na kailangan ng visa. Hindi <laughs> naman. Kailangan naman. <laughs> American <laughs> American <laughs> yun, eh. Let's talk yeah. about the intelligence again. What yeah. is the state of intelligence in this country today? We have, let's see. National Security, National Security. Security Council, right? Yes. Okay. And then we had that agency which was under uh, Norberto Gonzalez, yeah. correct? That's the yeah. During GMA's time. Yeah. Yes. The, uh, correct me if I'm wrong. Actually, that's the National Security, Security Council. Agency. Yes, Council. the Council. Uh, NSC. Council. Yes. Yeah. And of course, under that, there are uh, so many uh, uh, intelligence uh, network under uh, this uh, coordinating uh, mm. unit. In fact, there were many issues with government when it came to the budgets of the national intelligence because they said, well, it's uh, sensitive information and cannot be discussed openly on media yeah. and stuff like yeah. that, mm. which uh, there's a cordon sanitaire, mm. so to speak. What is the state of intelligence, I'm talking security and intelligence, uh, currently with this government today, right now? Do we have intelligence ongoing? The answer is definitely yes. Well, definitely yes. yes. Uh, we, we have existing uh, intelligence uh, uh, security mm. in our country. And it's working? It's really professional. working. Professional? Yes. Because you're a professional in the security agency, I'm yes. asking you. Because you're now outside. Yes. You're not in government, but you were inside at one point. Mm. Yes. And you actually, you, you were educated for this. You become an expert. So we do have real intelligence going on. We yes, have. sir. Yes, sir. Uh, it's interesting, eh? we do. How do they go wrong with the impeachment trial? But that's another story. Let's go to our, please tell us the state of more or less. What is the intelligence and what does our country do when it comes to intelligence and how it helps or benefits us? Well, of course, uh, when it comes to uh, intelligence, uh, I remember if I'm 
if uh, during uh, my time and mm -hmm. I was working with uh, the PNP, uh, there was one time that uh, I rendered duty with the National Intelligence Coordinating Agency. And, uh, of course, there, there is certain date there uh, where they used to hold a meeting and discuss this uh, so-called deep, deeper kinds of intelligence. And one, one uh, subject that has been discussed in that meeting is the so-called economic intelligence. Mm -hmm. Yeah, of course, uh, there is uh, such thing as political intelligence. Okay, you, you mentioned about economic intelligence and the political intelligence. How about on the concept of uh, corporate espionage? Because ito nangyayari to, eh, mga kumpa sa America, this is uh, existing. Wherein one company would hire a private uh, spy to spy on another company. For example, to look at the, the formula of a certain shampoo, to look at what product they would uh, release, kung ano yung mga... Nangyayari ba to sa Pilipinas? Actually, uh, taking the context of uh, espionage uh, under our law, espionage is uh, prohibited by uh, our revised penal. Pero intelligence is okay. Well, of course, uh, <laughs> pinaganda lang nila. Eh. Ganon din yan ang tema. Ano, ano yung ibig sabihin ng espionage is intelligence? Are, is that dalawang two, two different meanings? No, I think uh, almost the same lang yan. Okay. Uh, kasi pag uh, under the American ano, uh, setup, when we speak of espionage, bawal na bawal yan. Mm. And in our jurisdiction, particularly our revised penal code, uh, the context of espionage was uh, explicitly uh, defined in one of those uh, crimes or title in that, uh, in that Codigo Penal, mm. yung crime against national security. And one of those crimes is espionage. Talaga, bawal pala Bawal yan. talaga yan. Pero... Uh, sa tema natin ngayon, meron pa rin gumagawa niyan. Kaya lang, as, as we have uh, ano, uh, seen, we, we, we could not simply make use of the, the product of this espionage as an evidence. Simply as a reference, perhaps, uh, to develop your product in case of industrial uh, firm. Uh, you would like to know the secret of the other trade and then develop your own. That's it. Kasi sa Amerika, sometimes they're hiring private security agencies and private IA to, to look at evidences. If they like to pin down a certain person, yung kalaban nila, dito ba pwedeng gawin yun? Well, uh, pinning down, uh, say for instance, uh, using the using the uh, the scheme of espionage or uh, intelligence, there are uh, constitutional provision, so to speak, and uh, statutory provision uh, that uh, protect our citizen mm -hmm. in uh, uh, of course uh, everyone has to be protected uh, the right to privacy an ordinary security agency could not simply intrude or uh, violate the privacy of a certain individual or a certain citizen you're talking about the principles or the pillars of democracy J. Edgar Hoover in the States was the best example of intelligence that went awry, that made him very powerful for about three decades. Until his death, he had dossiers uh, of many presidents and many politicians, which is why he was, uh, no one could really remove him from office because he became very powerful and influential. Now, you're saying that intelligence is actually illegal and that we as citizens have our rights it's uh, enshrined in a Republic Act, or in yes. a, the, the, as, as you put out. And yet, we have an intelligence fund. What exactly is that that we have in government? And what kind of intelligence does government do? I mean, I'm sure it will tap into your phone. Uh, well, we already proven in the impeachment that they can tap into your bank accounts, even though that's illegal, even though the concept of the poison fruit coming out of the tree that's poisoned, should not be used, but we're already using it so, so much for rule of law. We've already succeeded in going against, or, you know, we're over and above the rule of law. So intelligence, we have to admit, exists. You say it exists. And there is an intelligence fund. In fact, was it not just recently, again in the impeachment, they were saying that they cannot divulge certain expenses and whatnot because of the, uh, again, illegal saying intelligence, or secret ngayan intelligence. Secret, yeah. Secret, yeah. But government does it. We need to do it. Do we need to do it? And maybe that's the better question. Do well, we need to do it? Well, uh, we, we need to do it. But why, uh, the, why the do purpose, we spy on other Filipinos? Yeah, 
the purpose of uh, having this so-called intelligence funds, the funds only re, uh, uh, should be allocated on specific purpose. Mm. It may be used against the enemy of the state, the state. not to uh, any uh, innocent or private individual. But what if the enemy is perceived? Is Corona our enemy? We have to figure out if he is good or bad yet. Diba? He still has to be convicted. And yet, we look into his accounts. We look, I'm just using the impeachment because it's, it's the most current. Eh? Government used intelligence to get a lot of information. And during the impeachment trial, it's lumabas ne, na illegally obtained. Diba? Yung AMLA lumabas. Yes. They already know the dollar accounts. Mm -hmm. They just can't say it out openly. Because mas lalabas, mas guilty pa sila. So government is illegally working against its people based on their perception of who are the enemies of the state. Ang problema, Harry, is correct, correct me if I'm wrong. Because Joma Sison is supposedly an enemy of the state. Yeah. Well, America told us who he was. Yeah. And the word communist, di ba, in yeah. CPP. Yeah. Yeah. He's yes. supposed to be our enemy. And yet this government is talking to him. Uh, di ba? Mm -hmm. So, kung kinakausap yun, I mean, I think the show of Eric Espina, mm -hmm. who just did the show a while ago, uh, it's the same thing. They're talking about one and the same thing, about uh, the just on... March 18, the Bank Samoro group said they independence na sila sa Mindanao. Are they perceived enemies? Mm -hmm. Or are, is it just perception? We don't know yet. <laughs> and yet, my intelligence yun. Where do you draw legal legalities and rule of law with the word intelligence? In this intelligence, diba, you just tap. Basically, it's tapping, isn't it? Yeah. You were telling us earlier before this. Well, show. Uh, in my experience before, uh, this uh, intelligence activity, particularly using intelligence fund, only uh, sh should be devoted to uh, the, the enemy of uh, this duly Ideally. Yeah, ideally. So logistics of yes, where they are. Yes, this logistics could be devoted uh, on these uh, belligerent groups, the, the insurgents. But I think uh, if we will be using this against a uh, political enemy, or say, uh, uh, contra, say, yung contrapartido, Mm -hmm. I, I think it's Yun not, uh, it's not uh, legal. But the answer to that way. question is illegal, but yes, it's being done. It's being mm -hmm. done. But intelligence exists and we now have the capacity. Let's mm -hmm. go into the capacity of intelligence today. Meron na tayong kapasidad, ano? Actually, uh, with the uh, uh, advent of uh, mm -hmm. our new technology now, uh, even before, nagsimula tayo from analog, now we have the GSM. Uh, GSM. Maski yung ordinary yung cellphone natin ngayon, uh, meron na tayong tinatawag na GPS. Kahit saan ka pumunta, nakikita ka kung nasaan ka. Uh, kaya yan Pero lang. Pero may ang bago gobyerno natin yung parating na kung saan tayo at kung sinong kausap natin? In fact, uh, nangyari na ito before, no? Uh, if we may recall nung uh, uh, piyesta ng Nazareno sa Quiapo, uh, the, the line was controlled because of uh, a report uh, intelligence report that uh, there will be uh, an attempt to, uh, to, bomb the place, uh, to bomb the place. So for purposes of uh, no, protecting the, the, you know, the, the citizens from that harm, ginawa ng gobyerno yung uh, tinatawag nilang... Uh, no, uh, Pinasukan nila ng mga tao doon. Yes, may tao. And uh, someone is controlling the, the network. Uh, walang, walang makagamit ng network doon ah, sa... Pinatay nila. Pinatay nila yon. Ah. And I think uh, they're using a jammer or perhaps uh, make control of the specific uh, service provider. But that Filipino security uh, intelligence, may kapasidad na? Well, marami na. In fact, uh, if you may recall, uh, nagkaroon na nga tayo ng, hmm. ano, ng isang Pilipino uh, uh, national na na-employ sa FBI. FBI. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and sad to say, of course, nakakulong pa siya ngayon. <laughs> Ah, si Aquino. No, no, si no. It's Agoncillo. Agoncillo. Uh, uh, Colonel, we're gonna. We're at the bottom of the hour. We're gonna have to take a short break uh, together with John. Ladies and gentlemen, stay with us and let's learn more about our capacity in intelligence. Because if I'm not, um, I'm quite political in the sense that I try to find out a lot of other things because it's my job as a host. But this topic is very new to me and it's, it's interesting <laughs> to the fact and it's also scary because trying to understand intelligence, our capacity, how we use it why we use it, and what are the tools of the trade, maybe it will help us understand how to act on the street. So if you don't want to get hit, you can start wearing women's clothes, for example. You can start pitching your voice higher so that 
you know, uh, you can now delude your enemy because after all, perception is the game of truth in this country. So stay with us, we'll be right back. I meant that as to be sarcastic. We'll be right back. <laughs> back ladies and gentlemen kanina na napag-usapan na natin maraming aspeto ng intelligence now government per se is using intelligence for the purpose of protecting the state and within certain point is that they would gather information and the word is information per se in terms of intelligence and such information would be used to protect the security of the state just like what happened to the black nazarin they gather information and through such information they look at it that oh meron pala tayong terror threat para maprotektahan, and that is the advantage of intelligence. It becomes illegal and a problem when people tend to abuse intelligence per se, specifically on the gathering of information. At pag ito mga informasyon na nag-gather na ginamit sa isang masamang paraan, dyan na po papasok ang mga masasamang aspeto. Sometimes, spying, intelligence, espionage is being correlated to each other. But the problem there is that the word spying sometimes uh, is illegal in a way that you are invading the privacy of people. And based on the Bill of Rights, sabi, you have the right for privacy. At ang problema po minsan, ginagamit itong the word intelligence aspects and instead uh, the intelligence in, uh, concept. Now, the word intelligence and information and the word intelligence information is wrong because information itself is intelligence process. Siguro, umisa natin ngayon on the basics of intelligence. Let's go to intelligence one one. The intelligence cycle. Tayo, Colonel Bonifacio, ano natatanda nyo? Ano ba yung first phase ng intelligence cycle? Of course, yung aga, you, you have to gather data. Oh, information gather gathering. Data, and then diba? ipoprocess mo yun. Mm -hmm. And once you process, uh, may mga series of testing pa yung inami. Of course, there are five cycles. No, do you? Basic, mm -hmm. ano. And then, uh, once ma, ano mo yun, ma, ma comply mo yun. And then, uh, there you are. You, you have to execute uh, what is uh, being treated raw before. Mm -hmm. Ngayon, uh, ito na yung mga naluto. Pa parang yung chismis, Harry, at the start, that is raw, raw yeah. information. Eh. Based on the second phase of the intelligence cycle, nandun na yung validation. Yes. Eh. And that is the use right now of certain gadgets to validate the information. Kasi alimbawa, narinig natin, oy si ganito, may kabito si congressman. And that is a what? May problema to. Uh, yung kanya, meron siyang asset na ganito. Then, what you, you would do is that you would now validate whether yung chismis ito to o, o hindi. And at the end, the concept of intelligence, it becomes an intelligence validated intelligence yes. report. Pag parang halimbawa, sa isang lugar, ay nandito natin na may chismis dito yung isang kidnapper dito yata nakatira. Mm -hmm. Di ba? Tapos anong pag-uusapan doon? Then you would go there, validate the information, it would go to a certain process. So pasukan natin ngayon yung capability, sinasabi ni Harry kanina. Kasi in terms of intelligence, palagi kong mapasok yan sa kaisipan ng ating mga kababayan, yung mga James Bond, si Chuck, si Agent Carl Michael. Yes. So, may kapasidad ba tayo in terms of gadgets right now? Well, uh, speaking of capacity, uh, malawak na yung, uh, yung uh, kaalaman. At sabihin natin yung capacity ng mga intelligence uh, people natin dito. In fact, uh, I was discussing earlier, Ultimo yung ballpen nga eh. Meron na. Look, uh, kung papasok kayo ng sinihan, makikita nyo doon, uh, pinagbabawal yung ano, yung uh, cam coding yan. Mm -hmm. Bukod doon sa cam coding, which is very, very obvious, yung camerang hawak, uh, meron doon isang commercial 
na hinuhuli nung dalawang uh, ano, dalawang uh, personnel ng sinihan yung nanonood doon pero yung camera niya nandun mismo sa shade pero yung shade very dark sipin mo nga naman nasa loob ka ng sinihan sinihan very dark yung ano mo yung pala meron siyang camera doon sa gilid so kinumpis ka yon and then sumunod doon meron pa rin siyang camera doon sa ballpen lahat Uh, doon mo makikita kung paano nagiging ingenuine ang Pilipino pagdating sa sa capacity on intelligence. Rod, why is private security and intelligence important? Why why is there a need for me to hire, uh, for example, malaking kumpanya ako, kaya, bakit ko kailangan ng mag-hire ng isang private security and intelligence firm? Anong magiging beneficyo niya? Well, of course, uh, unang-una, kung ang, ang dala-dala mong produkto ay eh, very, very essential sa iyo, at uh, sa tingin mo marami kang competitors, diyan pumapasok yung tinatawag na ano na industrial uh, espionage. espionage so between channel 2 and channel 7 spy na spy na sila oh, dalawa exactly, oh exactly sa programa pati mga concept nung show pinag-iispyan nag, niyan nag oh. uh, nagpapalig sa oh. sila eh uh, tinitingnan nila kung saan yung weak point ng kabilang uh, ano uh, broadcast station but going back to the first part of the show this is illegal these actions are illegal because you're not doing it against enemies of the state like you said, economic uh, sabotage, economic uh, intelligence. For example, the Philippine Stock Exchange that we discussed Insi earlier. Insider trading. Insider trading. <laughs> it's, it's a known fact in this yes. country. Pero hindi naman nahuhuli. Wala naman tayo na... Illegal pag nahuhuli, no, Harry. Oh, kung mahuli ka, kung makita ka. Kung makita, pag hindi ka nakita. Ka. Pero it seems uh, the stock exchange is imbued with uh, inside trading. But in reality... And even the brokers will tell you this is really what's going on. Yeah. They're openly talking about it, diba, as it goes on. But, alam uh, nyo it's still illegal, correct? Yes. You know, uh, when we speak of uh, uh, industrial espionage, it is illegal. Uh, well, from the context, from the context of uh, a private firm, uh, it is an intrusion of private. That's right. It's uh, an privacy. intrusion. Bawal dapat yan. Bawal yan. Bawal yan. We have rights as citizens. And uh, meron tayong batas para dyan. Eh. Talagang ipinagbabawal yan. Kaya nga sabi nga nila, pagka nahuli ka, and you will have to face, suffer the consequences of your act. Uh, anyone uh, who is affected with your act uh, is, uh, no, is uh, entitled to pero, a just pero compensation. Pero Harry, that is a uh, common commercial practice, yes. even to small entrepreneurs. Parang nagtayo ka ng isang kantina sa isang kanto. Ang gagawin niyan, pupunta sa kabila eh. Ano ba yung mga ulam na kanilang niluluto? Diba? Yeah. Bakit ganito yung presyo? No, ang tawag so, ng competition lang. Ah, actually, Doc. Pero competition. Uh, actually, Doc. Uh, there's one na doon yung pag-i-spy. There, there is one, ano. Uh, there is one na uh, chips company, no? Yung, yung mga, uh, ano ng mga computer uh, chips. Parang Amcor Anam, uh, Intel, gano'n. You, you got it. Uh, you got it. May mga gamit sila na sinosort out nila and then uh, pan out later na depektibo na. Meron silang proseso, yung tinatawag nilang recycling management. This is part of uh, security, private security practice. Hindi yan basta-basta itinatapon sa isang basura. So, in, in short, uh, merong din, pinagdadaan ng proseso yan kung paano mo siya itatapon dun sa basura. And we call it recycling management. Okay, okay. Why? The moment itapon mo dun, nang ganun-ganun lang yan, itong mga ibang mga... Uh, tawag dito yung mga... Kakalkalin ng basura. Kinakalkal ng basura yan, ibebenta dun sa... Kabilang. Magko-clone. Kukopyahin yung produkto eh. Kukopyahin yung produkto. And there you are. Na-violate na yung ano mo. Na-violate na yung uh, karapatan mo dun sa produkto ang ginawa mo. In the last election, there was a lot of talk of candidates that lost. Uh, they blamed the uh, Smartmatic mm, yes. because of source code and uh, programming, no less. Uh, alam mo naman sa Pilipinas, eh, no one loses, everyone is dinadaya. But let's take that assumption. Uh, let's assume that they are correct. Many that lost, we had one guest here, si Alonso, the mm. actor, politician. Mm, si Malonso. Said, oh. Si Malonso, oh. he just said, sabi niya, alam mo, Ari, John, sabi niya. Mm. Diba, hindi siya, oh. hindi pwedeng matalo talaga ako dun eh. Abang ko, paano nangyari oh. yun eh, di ba? Ako, tataya ako buhay ko. Uh, ako, pwede, oh, di, ako naman, oh sige, di, panalo ka na. So, nadaya ka? Definitely. So, paano ka nadaya? Iyan sa mga makina na yan. Okay, here we are. We're going to buy the machines again because the Camelec feels they have no, not much of a choice left with the time frame. They're always running out of time. 
and because of their budget, it's cheaper to buy it at 1.7 billion and whatnot, and just fix it. Anything that tampers with the Camelac, or in this case, this machine, which is tamperable, meaning it's not tamper-proof, is an enemy of the state, di ba? Dapat yeah. yan. We have to look at that as enemy of the state. Pwede ba natin intel gawa ng intelligence yan? Tignan natin kung saan minanakaw ang boto, sino nagpapalit, if it's smartmatic, if it's local government, or if it's the administration and power, di ba? Whoever it is, kaya ba gawa ng intelligence yan? Para malaman natin kung sino yung loko talaga. Actually, uh, that is uh, a big good question, no? Uh, Hari, kailangan talaga, this should be the concern of our government. Yeah, di ba? But yan it's about time, yes. It's yan about time for them. Komilek! Yeah. Eh, eh, paano kung yung Komilek ang nandadaya? <laughs> eh, hindi niya naman problema eh. Sasabihin niya lang naman. <laughs> di, iwan na mo, di... Di, mag-hire tayo ng private security. No, then noy-noying na sila. <laughs> o, problema na noy-noying na yan, di ba? Kung anong gagawin niya oh. dyan sa Komilek. Eh, yeah. kung may collusion sa mga commissioner dun sa smart But this is what the losers are saying that there is diba, they've already said it there's collusion the yeah, philippine well, computer society said the mm -hmm. same thing but nothing happened of it we still went through it and everybody clapped and said hey we got a great election and we got our candidates and we got our solutions at the night of the election diba, everybody clapped everyone celebrated the president and the losers cried and they said they pointed back and said no, i mean diba, parang ganun na nangyari. i think uh, harry there is a basis there is a smoke there's a complaint. Then, uh, I think... Where there's the, the smoke, there's fire. Yes. There, then, then the next move there is simply to develop. Alimawa, ganito. Do yeah. some case build-up operation. Alimawa, alimawa, ano, yun there dapat. you are, papasok dun yung intelligence. Alimawa, Rod. Yeah. Rod, na natalo so, si... So, dapat may election complaint oh, ka? Yes. Okay. Get the security agency. Yeah, yun nga. Alamin yeah. mo. Oh, oh. Yeah. Yung nat natalo sila Jambi, yung mga sila Nick, Nick Carlas. Hindi, yung talaga talo yun. Hindi, hindi, hindi. Dinaya sila eh. Dinaya oh. sila, dinaya sila. Desi, pwede ka bang i-hire? Maraming pera yun si Senator Jambi. Tapos, I would hire you, uh, Colonel Bonifacio. Just look into it. Pwede nyo bang investigahan? Of course, pwede naman. Uh, uh, pwede yun. Uh, yeah, yeah, pwede naman. In so, fact, yan, uh, we should tell what, our politicians, uh, yeah. before you go into elections, you hire the services of an intelligence <laughs> expert to follow it up to make sure hindi ka dayain. It's mm. cheaper than making lagay the local communist, mm. uh, buying, vote buying. Make it legal. Diba? I can go to you, for example, and say, um, Sir, uh, bantayan mo yung mga boto ko. Gawa natin yung... Kung matalo talaga akong talo, okay. Yeah. But, kung matalo ako at nadaya ako, Ibang show me proof. Ibang usapan yan. Ibang usapan yan. Would you think that's a better strategy? Yeah, I think that's a better strategy. Oh, pala, yeah. We know what to do with it. That's what we're gonna recommend okay, okay. to our... Uh, marami kasi lumalapit. Eh. Yung natin natin. Oh, okay, I like to go to the another dimension ng private security at intelligence. Yung mga bodyguard. Kasi this bodyguard should be well-trained pertaining to BIP security and also intelligence. May luma, yung mga politiko ba, eh, san, yung mga bodyguard ba nila, eh, dapat mag-undergo ng private security and intelligence training? Actually, may meron ng ginawang ano, mm. uh, program of instruction ang uh, PNP dyan, mm. ang Philippine National Police. With respect to uh, mm. uh, the training of uh, sa BIP. protective, protective sa, agents. We call it protective agents. Pero so, sa sila yung bodyguard. Eh. Pero sa PSP uh, o sila nilalagay, agent. hindi naman sa... Ano, exactly. Eh. Sa, sa, uh, sa SANSD. Eh. Why? Because yung ano yung uh, operational capability o yung operational function mm. ng uh, PSP o before mm. providing security to uh, our mm. local officials and some of uh, private citizens that has uh, the so-called uh, threat against their life tinanggal na yun eh mm. simply nila ginawa silang monitoring uh, so hindi na agency. hindi na pwedeng kumuha Kaya, ng police na BIP yeah. security. So to je to ano to ano accommodate mm. the requirements of uh, mm. these politicians and uh, people mm. who have some threats against their life. Pumapasok na dito ngayon yung TESDA. Mm. And at the same time in coordination with the Philippine National Police. Now the PSPO. Of course, nandiyan din yung ano yung uh, PNP Social natin. Mm. Uh, Nakapaloob doon kasi the PNP Social is tasked to provide or uh, process the corresponding license of these protective agents. Sila yung regulatory arm mm -hmm. under Republic Act 5487. Mm -hmm. So, kailangan maging NC2 rin si bodyguard? NC, uh, EMTTM? Gano? Yes, meron mga ganong... Uh, Your services, you provide that, no? You provide basically yes, security, yes, intelligence, sir. more intelligence, yes, sir. and then security, but you also provide protective services if necessary. 
Uh, oh, of course, uh, we provide the protection. Eh, kung asawa ko, kanyari, gusto ko habulin, gusto ko malaman kung may kalokohan sa labas. Diba yung ila? Uh, you watch this in the movies uh, natin. Uh, do you do also that kind of service? Well, of course, uh, gumagawa tayo ng ganyan, sir, pero may mga legal conditions dyan, sir. Uh, waivers? People, mar mar maraming waivers? Meron siyang waiver, of course. And, of course, yung uh, agency who will accept that will simply uh, ano, find out saan gagamitin. So, if ever gagamitin yun sa future litigation, then, of course, hindi lang simply doon sa tinatawag na tailing or posting, but simply, so the, the one, the agent, that will, ingit, yes, ingit. The, the, the agent that will be used will also execute an affidavit because that will be required by the court soon. <laughs> It require tayo ng husgado na sino yung kumuha ng litrato na ito. So, for example, alam ko, this guy is, Number three, number four in the company, malaking kumpanya, he's absconding money, nagnanakao, di ba? But you have to figure it out. You know, this happened with a Filipino FBI, this story that was brought into the country. Sa Intel nangyari yan eh. Inuno nila, hinanap nila, and they busted the group from inside, from inside out. Yung ganun pwede rin, di ba? Yes. To figure out, sino nagnanakao, paano ninanakao, sino mga cohorts nito, paano yung, how does it work as a group, as a sindikato eh. So, That's the kind of service you provide? Yes, sir. Actually, meron din tayong group of fraud examiner. And that is part of risk management. Also, a branch of security. Also a branch. Dapat pala, parang COA kayo, pero hindi na dyan. Parang kayong COA. So, maganda COA, isama ng security. Ang agency ba natin sa gobyerno, may ganun tayo? Meron, sir. Actually, may sistema naman ang gobyerno natin with respect to audit activity. Alam nila. Alam pero, nila. Pero you mentioned audit. Um, the problem, Harry, in terms of uh, intelligence fund, pag in-audit mo yan, walang liquidation yan. Talagay mo lang dyan, intelligence fund. Yeah, that's it. Yun, 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 usually, yung intelligence fund. It's a long practice. Yan. yan yung ginagamit ngayon ng mga ilang sa mga politiko. Yung mga heads of agency, na kinukurakot nila. <laughs> Maglagay ka ng 1 million. sa mo ginasos yan? Kasi, no, for example, fund. we have a problem with terrorism mm. in the South. Between, we have a problem between the MNLF and the MILF. Then we have this group called the Renegade Group, Abu Sayyaf. Then we also have the CCP NPA. Uh, security, the military as well, and local government need intelligence to identify their movement so that they don't bomb the city, diba? like what they do, diba? yes. uh, oh, in ter acts of terrorism. Uh, why can't the government figure out Uh, for example, who is good for us, who is not. Diba, may intelligence dapat sila. If MILF in there, ano yan, they will shake your hands pag talikod mo, babanata ka sa likod. Diba parang gano'n? What's the cause? It's failure of intelligence. Ah, gano'n gano'n. That's what it is, isn't it? Kaya nga, Harry, that's the role of the deep penetration agents within the NPA, the MNLF. President Ramos was perceived to respect intelligence. That was the perception. He was a man who respected intelligence and celebrated it and used it as strategy into finding out and making his uh, decisions. Mm -hmm. Does President Pinoy respect and uh, envelope and accept intelligence? Well, I think may kanya-kanyang ano eh, may kanya-kanyang estilo yung mga presidente natin. So far, uh, sa takbo ngayon, uh, hindi ko pa pwedeng sabihin kung ganun yung estilo niya compared with uh, our former president uh, Fidel Ramos. Kasi pagkakaiba, Harry, si, 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 si Ramos is a military man that really yes. respects intelligence. Si Pinoy is a what? Iba yung... <laughs> kumbaga so you're sa saying that, that the president is not intelligent? <laughs> no! <laughs> is that what you're saying, Dr. John? Go <laughs> say it! No, yeah. sabi ko, oh, military okay. man si Ramos. And tinatanong nga kita, kung, kung military man... <laughs> Actually, uh, kung titignan natin, iba yung exposure ni then President uh, Ramos. The discipline of intelligence was well comprehended yes. and respected. Yes. GMA also did the same thing. She followed it. Yes. I don't think it was the same with Cory. During Marcos' time, without the shadow of a doubt. Yeah. Uh, talagang no doubt. No, no doubt. doubt. Which no is doubt. why he was able to stay in power mm -hmm. yeah. for 20 years. And only when he gets sick, when he got sick. He started loosening his, his control of the situation. And remember, Harry, most superpower countries use their intelligence fund well. Why? For example, the, the CIA and the KGB, actually more of the intelligence uh, activities of these uh, countries go within uh, economic intelligence, even armaments. Yes. Mga military uh, secrets and mga, kanilang, uh, mga bagong technology. 
usually yung spy is not just looking at the political aspect. It's yeah. more of uh, the military supremacy, economic intelligence, even yung mga inventions. Hey, you can see it mm. in the movie. Mm. Uh, one, one classical example, yung mm. the Iron uh, mm. Man. Yan. Uh, makikita mo kung paano binibigay. Private tayo. versus yes. uh, mm. private to sila. professional. Uh, so, to itong mga gantong klase ng movie, hindi mako-conceptualize siya kung hindi na nila nakikita. Eh. Mm. Interesting where it's going. You know, there's information now. Well, the difference with intelligence, it can be smudged or it can be confused with politics and wrong information. Good information, qualified true information when brought over, can be broken apart with putting dirty information. Okay, you mentioned dirty information in politics. One thing that you would use in politics in terms of intelligence is profiling. You need to profile your profile. political opponent. Yes. Pag makikita mo yung mga weaknesses niya. Know the weakness. Know the weakness and the what the threats within the uh, ano the the political how Ganito yung nangyari kay ano eh kay Aragon Silio, yes. di ba? Bakit ganun ka important yung political profiling ng mga president? Kasi pag nakita yan ng isang presidential, makikita niya kung paano niya gagawin yung paraan para siya ay kampihan ng Amerikano. Exactly. Yun ang ano. What you know interesting in love in business? Every time I go into a meeting and I'm going to sell something, I do that. I profile who I'm going to meet and talk to. I check him out. I know his weakness, habits, mannerisms. And I know whether I need to be strong with my presentation, soft, or it's already sold. Or I need to sell myself. It's normal. But this yes. is in business, diba? Even in, ano, Harry, in sports gambling, nangyayari yung ganyan, ha? Oh, na meron din. Meron, meron, meron. Minsan naalamin nila, bawa si Kobe Bryant, naalamin nila ngayon kung ano ba yung tema ng kanyang attitude ng araw na, binrake ba ito ng girlfriend, no? ano, para alam nila kung saan no. tataya. Nangyayari yan. Ganong ka-importante. Pero marami nag-profile kay Pacquiao, di ba? Inaway <laughs> daw siya ni Jinky in the last fight. Talo din siya, nanalo pa rin si Pacquiao. Eh. Kaya nga ngayon natatakot sila, sila Bob Arum kasi yes. masyado nang born again si, ano, eh, masyado nang makadyos. Iba na, iba, iba na. na. I didn't even know Iba that. Na, ah, oh, naging makajos na ba siya? Nakamakajos na. Nagpipreach na siya. Nagpipreach na siya. No kidding. So yeah. TV is not enough. Uh, My gosh. So we're, gonna, we're gonna have a new ka, ka money. Uh, ka money. And a new hmm. religious sect. Kaya nga natatakot sila sa laban nila kay Bradley. Eh. Masya, pag masyado, baka ayaw na sumuntok niyan. Don't hurt your opponent. <laughs> Colonel, Colonel Benfasio, we're reaching the top of the hour. And as tradition in this show, we like to give you one, one and a half minute to give a message to our viewers as we end the program on our topic on security. Colonel Bonifacio, this camera. Well, uh, on, on topic of private security, of course, uh, as uh, we have uh, discussed earlier, marami na tayong ano We We have a lot of private security business in our country. And of course, ito naman yung mga competent din. And uh, most of this uh, private security business are members of the so-called private security industrial security. And almost uh, thousands of uh, CSP has been produced by this uh, uh, institution. So, as I've said, oh, meron tayong mga kailangan niyan or requirements uh, with respect to your security requirement. No, uh, feel free to call. Uh, my what are office. your numbers? Yeah, my number is seven four two seven two five six. That that operation center of Utopia is open twenty four seven. Is there an email address? Yeah, it's uh, Utopia SSI at Yahoo dot com. Utopia SSI I, at Yahoo dot com. Thank you very much, Colonel. John, your message. Okay, mga kaibigan. Marami tayong natutunan ngayong araw na to sa konsepto ng private and public security and intelligence. Sa mga nanonood na panibago sa kanilang usapin ng intelligence and security, one thing lang po eh, sabi nga ating common sense eh, we need to have security for, have, for us to have peace. The concept of information is that kailangan pong mga informasyon pagdating sa law enforcement para para di naman nating masupress ang ilan sa mga krimen sa timbayan. And one thing, pag titingnan natin yung mga ganitong technicalidad sa usapin, eh, maaaring sabihin ng masyado yatang malalim ang intelligence and security. No, ang pinakaimportante po, secure ang inyong bahay, secure ang inyong establishment, secure ang ating bayan at pag secure at maganda ang information gathering at secure ang ating bayan, mapayapa ang ating bayan. Dr. John Ortiz Cape po, magandang araw. <laughs> uh, okay, very quickly Parting words, uh, let's see. Intelligence, information, that's the name of the game. Uh, how's this for information? 
The Americans have just announced that North Korea is going to be testing their nuclear armament, and this time heading south. And just it was just over the weekend, and um, their missiles will now reach as far as Australia, Jakarta, and or the Philippines. How is that for information? Mm -hmm. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much. We hope you've enjoyed our program. We try to bring you more information the way we know it. You got to remember, at the end of the day, you're only as good as what you know, based on what you hear, what you read, and what you see on TV. Marami salamat po. Thank you very much, Colonel. You are what you watch.